Hi everyone, um, I am just doing my romantic Valentine's Day look. I'm showing you, I'm using the new me Lustrum, um, largest size curling iron, and I'm dancing a little bit. And I'm just going to try and keep um, about one inch pieces, and um, keeping them flat against And I just section it off about three times, and just curl everything away from my face. and very messily put it up. <laughs> I'm having, still learning all the ins and outs of recording tutorials and editing and things like that. I kicked the door shut because I thought it would make a prettier background. And um, you can see I definitely did not do the greatest job like sectioning pieces, but that's kind of a good thing. That means you can totally do this look in a hurry. It was definitely a really simple um, curled look so and I just dance cuz I'm waiting for it to finish doing whatever and yeah and I squunch the curls to just like lock up everything in I feel like they're stay curled longer in my opinion and then I just did my top pieces the same way I did the rest of my hair, still going away from my face, one inch pieces, keeping them ribbon-like and flat. Um, you can see I flattened this piece out pretty good, and just keeping everything really nice and smooth along the barrel. I'm not really overlapping my wraps, I'm really just going right next to them. So. And I dropped this piece, and it was totally easy to pick back up. And for whatever reason, I'm still dancing. <laughs> and in this next clip, I'm just going to show you guys how I finish off the top section of my hair. Um, I'm basically still just taking those flat sections along the barrel. Um, going away from the face, but then I sort of turn the curling iron so it's like um, straight back and forward. I don't know, I feel like it helps my curls um, sort of turn out better for the length that my bangs are. And then I just finish the other side. I wanted to keep this look really soft and romantic and also quick and simple seeing how this tutorial sort of like either for people who don't have a lot of time or something you could wear to business and move on later to the evening um just like really casual quick curls i know it kind of seems like there's a lot of clips and things but this really does not take me that long to use such a big thing here i'm showing you that at this particular time you should totally spray it with some hairspray and I'm showing you that I like the spray and play, but not the spray and play harder. Or harder. Um, also, for a really voluminous romantic look, I like using my boosted spray. I have sprayed my hair with the boosted and the sexy hair spray and play hairspray. And here's the finished look, sort of finger combed out a little bit. And I'm going to start um, on my makeup, but I have no idea what I wanted to do. So, oh, and I had forgot something, so I went and got it. And here's where I figure out that I really don't know exactly the products I want to use for this look. So I go and do one eye and come back. I think, or I'm bronzing? Yeah, sorry, bronzer. <laughs> I'm using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate. I just wanted this to be a really, uh, an all over with a nice flat brush. I wanted this to be a really glowy look, um, and not necessarily like a defined look, because I wanted this to be something that middle school or like ninth, tenth grade high school people um, could totally wear too. I wanted it to just be a really soft look, so I didn't think that um, uh, a lot of contouring was needed showing my blush. It is um, a Merle Norman blush called Queen of Hearts. It is still available. Um, this came out in a 
uh, color collection years ago. I'm showing you what kind of color it is. It's To me, it's whenever I go out on dates, I think this is just, I wear this blush. I think it's just a really romantic shade. I think for my particular skin tone, it's just really flattering um, and always makes me look really glowy and awake and fresh. And I don't think I really changed the blush color much um, for the night look. Oh, I'm not even doing that in this video. Oops. Hint to next video. <laughs> um, here I'm showing you the eye now. Okay, yeah, I went and come back and I show you the eye. And oh no, I'm not done on the other side. But I begin by using my eyeshadow base from Merle Norman. Any eyeshadow primer will do. This is just going to help your eyeshadow stick and last all day. Um, and also make colors more true to pan. I've already done my brows. I just used a medium brown color. I just wanted something simple, so I just used a pencil to run through them. And I'm just applying that eyeshadow primer with my finger at the moment. I'm going to take the Lorac Pro Palette and a fluffy blending brush and just pop a medium color um, on my crease. I'm also showing you some colors that you could use. Um, I know that this is still on Too Faced's website and if you like ordered it now you'd get it by Valentine's Day. This is a really great um, palette to have in your purse. It's got really romantic flattering colors for every eye shade um, and a lot of them are not necessarily dupes for the Lorac Pro but they'd be easy to recreate this look with. So I'm taking that medium brown shade that I was talking about and I'm just going to pop that right in my crease. I think this makes it more flattering and blended all or easy to blend and match at the end of doing your eyes than if you did it last. I'm just going to line um, my lower lash line with a dark brown color. This happens to be the same eyeliner I used as my eyebrow color, so I just wanted it a overall like kind of matchy um, look. To me that's fairly flattering and for Valentine's Day looks I think you just want to make yourself look as flattering as possible um, and enhance your natural beauty. So. I'm going to take this NYX um, eye pencil, and I think it's strawberry milk, yes, and I'm just going to go all over my lid with it. It's going to make the pink color we use later really pop and stay pink. Um, since this was a not as a dramatic look, I wanted something that was fun and flirty, and I think pink for Valentine's Day is more flirty than like sexy or seductive so that's why I went with this sort of strawberries and chocolate kind of look because um, you have that brown and that pink and then of course I'm showing you what shade to you or you could use from that other palette and that does really have a really pretty um, blush shade in it I forgot to show it in the video but it's really cool to keep in your purse I really do like that palette But I've got to say, the Lorac Pro Palette is probably one of my most um, uh, favorite per makeup purchases ever. It was so worth it. And I'm going to um, pop that on my lower inner corner. It's just going to make your eyes pop and make you look really awake. I'm going to take the same eyeliner I, line, I lined my lower lash line and did my eyebrows with. I'm going to just simply line my top lash line. I'm not going to wing it out or anything, but if that's what you like to do, you absolutely, absolutely could. I just wanted this to be soft and flirty, which is why I didn't personally wing it out. You could also use a brown eyeliner instead of a black um, like liquid or gel to make this a little more flirty and soft if you wanted to you know, use a wing, or wing it out. And I am just taking an angled liner brush 
to sort of um, deepen up that eyeliner color and make it last all day and all night. I think this really just sets your eyeliner color. And it's definitely a soft way to even more enhance your eyes without making them necessarily darker. And I'm just going to, um, I believe I'm lining my inner waterline and everything. And then I'm going to take that cream shadow from the Lorac Pro palette and I'm just going to go underneath my eyebrow with it. Just um, soften off, soften up that crease shadow. Um, just make finish the whole eye look sorry now i'm using that nude liner to um to line my inner or sorry to outline my eyebrows it's the same basic concept as using a concealer but to me it works a little easier i don't have to worry about using a brush or a doe foot applicator etc um so to me this is easily blended uh because it is a pencil it's an easy container to like use um, and now I am doing look at that eye flutter I am doing my inner waterline it's gonna make your eyes appear brighter and more awake this is great to do just on your own if it's the only thing that you can do like right before you're running like if you're running late and you want to do something to make you look more awake um, lining your inner waterline with a nude eyeliner is so amazing for that here I'm telling you I could do false lashes um, like those, sort of the half lash to make it fun and flirty, but I personally decided not to since I filmed this um, look going to a night look later on and I do put false lashes on then. I just did a quick like one or two coats of a lengthening and volumizing mascara um, and it happened to be waterproof. I'm about to start with my lips. I'm going to take that nude eyeliner again and line the outside of my lips and my cupid's bow um, and then sort of up to my like nose, those two lines. Um, I think that makes my lips pop and draw more attention to my lips. And it also helps keep my lips from feathering or any lip color from feathering. Now I'm taking a clear um, lip liner, and of course you could just go around the lines of your lips, um, but I like to do all over. It helps keep from staining your, it helps keep your lip color from staining your lips, it makes them more long lasting than even just lining the outside would be, um, and since it is clear, it's a universal color. Everybody should have one of these in their makeup um, collection or arsenal, whatever you want to say. Now I'm going to use this NYX Matte uh, Soft Lip Cream in Istanbul. And um, it's such a pretty, like, nude, medium pink. I just love it. It's, again, such a flirty, fun, romantic shade. Um, and it's not necessarily kiss proof, but fairly long lasting and kiss proof. Um, it's definitely one that I make sure I keep my lips moisturized because it'll show every little line, but when you apply it correctly, um, it looks fantastic. So that's the completed look. Bye, you guys. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.